to connect the curious care. My name is Karina, and in this episode, we have a little co-star, Pluto, who's sleeping behind me, which I hope stays that way. Um, and today we're going to talk about how we start a conversation, where we come from. Going into a conversation makes all the difference in how that talk is going to go. And what I mean by that is what is your intention when you start having a conversation? So, for example, I'm a person that loves to be prepared for meetings and I would often scribble down like, okay, so these are my arguments and this is what I want to get out of the meeting. These are my outcomes. And, and that was often like very fixed on a specific um outcome so whenever the person said something that would tilt away from that I could feel how I tense up and it was almost like a threat and I couldn't focus on what was said I was only focusing on but we need to get over here like this is this is where we need to go right and I um I would start to judge maybe um like why why does he always want to go into this way it's not clear that we have to go into that way um and and so today I want to talk about what difference it can make if we, instead of going into this meeting with a very clear set of outcomes and this notion of if I don't walk away with that, I lose or I'm wrong or I, I have to judge the other person for it and instead start to think about, okay, so can I go into a meeting from a place of I want to connect I I may not know everything and I may gain new information from the other person. I may not see something the way how that person is seeing it and I better listen. And I'm bringing really my full attention to both of us instead of just my my outcome. And I don't know if you saw it, but this week on Instagram, I posted a picture of us being at the beach and walking at the beach. And I kind of can compare it to that. Like if I go into a conversation, um, I'm not thinking about the end point of that talk as much as I, when I start walking on the beach, I'm not thinking about how we're going to arrive at the parking spot again and getting into this car. All I want to do at the moment is focusing on the path ahead of me. Um, enjoying the weather around me and my family and and then we're gonna get there eventually but I don't know yet when and how and what helps me with going into conversations from this place of um, curiosity and and attention and um, and really wanted to connect is that I start to ask myself instead of a very concrete outcome, what is a need, what matters to me that I would love to have fulfilled after that meeting? And sometimes that can be something very um, independent from a topic. Like sometimes the need can really just be, I want to be uh, connected to that other person or I want to really be part of this team. But other times it can be very concrete and I give you an example. So let's say on my, in my notebook as an outcome would be I bring to the next team meeting that the night shift is preparing the medication for the next day. And if I go into the meeting with that, then everything else that's said that would not speak to words the night shift is preparing the meeting for the next day would feel like a threat to me. And so instead I think about, okay, so why? Like what matters to me that I come up with that? And maybe it's clarity, clarity that we agree as a team on when the medication is being prepared. So we avoid any day-to-day -day tension and confusion about who's doing what when. It may be that I I really want some relief for the the morning shift because it's too much if I have to prepare the medications in the morning. So whatever that need is, if I have that in mind, 
instead of a very concrete outcome, it allows me to have a different conversation. It allows me to also listen at other arguments, at others' concerns, and maybe there is a different compromise we can find that allows me to get the clarity, to get a certain relief, independent if we prepare the medication for the next day in the night shift or not. Okay? Um, so that's one. And then the other thing I really wanted to speak to is it's not just always about the topic. And there will be moments, <laughs> I know them myself, when we find us in a conversation and it becomes much more about the people involved having the conversation, right? And it's, it's like this feeling of like, but I can't agree because last time she already won that argument and um, she always gets right, but not this time. I'm going to put my foot down and we're going to have a whole nother episode about how we best communicate with people that um, tickle us <laughs> in that sense. But for for this purpose in terms of coming, how you come into a conversation, if that is a person that you know may um, get to you, then it's even more important to just keep in mind what is the need that you would love to have fulfilled and keep breathing through that conversation. Okay, let me check if I forgot something to mention, but I think we got a lot covered. Um, oh yeah, one thing that I don't wanna forget. If you are in charge, especially, and you have to make a decision and you feel strongly about one way or the other, then make it clear to the team that you have a demand, that you made already your, your decision. You, you may be open to hear concerns and take that into consider consideration for the future, but right now you already decided and this is what you're gonna do. If you start a conversation and you allow for a lot of other opinions to come in to make space for everything to be heard and then you make a call of like yeah okay but I decide and this is how we do it then that can be very demotivational for some people involved right um, because it's like well but why do we have this conversation if you already know what you want to do so the intention of how we talk is always important but be clear that if there are certain things you just have to decide, then that's what it is and that can be communicated as well. And that's it for today. We'll see you guys next week and Ludo is still asleep. Until then, bye.